If we wanted to edit this roof even further, there's a number of other tools there that we'll just explore. First of all, if we wanted to cut holes in this roof, I'm just going to select a, some 2D tools and even the spline. Now I'm going to make sure I'm on the roof tool because that's what I want to edit. Select the roof planes, hold the spacebar down and left mouse click on those while I'm holding the spacebar down. They cut holes in that roof. So we can cut holes in the roof fairly easily. We can split roofs too. So once again I'm going to push Control A because I want to split the whole roof. Then we've got an axe tool here which is actually a split icon and even under edit under the reshape command we have the split command there also so if I left mouse click on there I can just draw a line anywhere through my roof left mouse click once and if I click this side of the roof it should deselect the other side select this side and split it so we can see that there's actually a line through there now if I push delete we've deleted that roof so if I go to the 3D window, we can see we've split the roof and cut some 2D holes in it. Now if we experiment with this, we can produce some quite interesting results. For example, if I just drew a slab, just a rectangular slab at this stage, and I'm going to draw two lines from the centre of that slab at a 45 degree angle, I'll shift key down and then I'm going to the roof tool click on the barrel vault quickly define a barrel vault drag it across the slab and back across push OK now I'm going to select the roof by control A or Apple A and if I click on the split tool and click on the 2D line, drag that through the roof, left mouse click up this side, push delete, and draw it back through the other way. So, got to select the roof first. It's important that the roof tool is selected while you push Control A, otherwise you'll select everything on a floor plan. Do the same thing again, delete that. I'm just going to get rid of that slab for the time being. I'm going to get rid of those 2D lines and pushing delete. Once I've got that there, I can actually go Control A, select the whole roof. If I left mouse click and go to this icon here, I can rotate. The multiply palette comes up, so I just want to rotate three copies of that. Push OK. Click on that first node. Holding the shift key down to constrain it so it's an accurate movement. If I deselect that, and we can see we can come up with quite an interesting roof shape.